They say there's a difference between being unseen and being invisible, but I'm not quite sure. I'm prejudiced for disregard as opposed to ignorance holds the latter in favor, but intent lays eyes upon no one. I wonder what might be said for it if it did. I wonder what I might say. Probably nothing. It's just that it's so hard to see yourself for what you are, all that you are, when nobody else is willing to do the same. Either that or they're just unable to. The difference between being unseen and being invisible is less a matter of perspective as it is a matter of hope, a matter confined by shadow as opposed to circumstance. A matter held itself in contempt where only the possibility of better begrudges it, so offers too a means of escape. If you could only see me, hear me speak these words, what then might you say? Would you tell me that it's better to be invisible, to never trouble myself with the thought of being seen, and so spare myself the effort at all? Or would you tell me not to worry? and pass judgment silently in saying that this too will pass, and that it's only a matter of time. Time. It comes and goes, and I'm still waiting, holding court over my kingdom of one, waging war on the silence that occupies my mind. It never brings me anything at all. I wish that I were made of stone. Even a statue is seen, and he never needs to worry about having felt otherwise. Unflinching, unmoving, still. It's not all bad, though. It's quiet quiet enough to think. In another life, or in merely another place, I could be just as I am, and appear anew. Wouldn't that be something? It's not so bad, going unnoticed. I only wish it were as easy to accept as it is to say. But it isn't, and so instead I'll say this. There's a difference between being unseen and being invisible and just can't be seen by those who will it. Only those who endure. Well, I guess every cloud has its silver lining. <laughs>